Tyler Your won on Among Us drama. drama. Your opinion on the Among Us drama? Ooh, what happened? We're Ooh. Among Us drama? Ooh. Apparently XQC is really toxic in a game that has no rank system and is completely casual. Hey, you guys remember when I said How's this? How's there any drama? I don't know. Casual for fun game. How could you be toxic in it? As soon as these guys start trying to do ranked and this and that, I told you guys that's going to kill the game. It is a for fun party game, and it is a huge difference in the types of lobbies and the environment whenever people are, like, screaming and whatever, and people are just playing for fun, and people are trying to rank. I'm trying to rank in Among Us. It's like, dude, get a, like, I'm, I'm sorry. But why? What like there is absolutely no metric of of th there's nothing. It's for fun. You should be playing with your friends and having a good time. On that same point, why the hell are there people cheating? Why are you cheating in Among Us? It ruins the game. It's a for fun party game. It goes both ways, right? I get playing for fun, but then also part of playing for fun is respecting the game. You know what I mean? It's not, oh man, I got, man, I gotta win this Among Us game, man. I got, everybody's gotta think I'm a five head. Everybody has to think I'm a genius. It's like, no. You know who feels that way? People who are not geniuses. People who are not five heads. Two ends, people trying to rank and take it super serious. And then people who are like, oh, whatever. And they're, they're like cheating, right? Or they say whatever, but they're cheating. You see what I'm saying? Cause they're taking it super serious, but they're acting like they're not. Who's cheating? Uh, everybody that train wrecks plays with. <laughs> There's not, as I'm saying, it's a lot of people. I don't think it's as many people as Train says, but I actually messaged Train and I'm like, who do you think is cheating? And the same people that he said were the same people that I thought were cheating. <laughs> the people that he said to me, I was like, wait. <laughs> Cause like, I just, it's S fan. I just have a hunch. I'm like, how? I didn't even kill anyone. Yeah. Uh, the sound design in the new Moffat game is really overdone. Huh? <laughs> uh, good clip. Good timing. Well, let's stop playing Among Us. Look. I just, now I'm fucking late, and just the rest of your day is hot, dude. Look what Among Us is doing to us. My previous rant stands. We need a new game. We need a new game. This game is breaking up houses, okay? It's not this the game game's fault, though. Up houses. This game is when you convince your significant other that going to an orgy is a good idea. You get there, you have fun for the first 10 minutes, and then you realize you've walked into a nightmare. Okay? The, the thing is, it's not the game. The game is not the problem. The problem is the people. The saying, don't hate the player, hate the game, does not stand in Among Us. You know why? Because the people are the ones that are trying to change the game and add in a ranked system and trying to make this a super hardcore sweaty lobby. That's what it is. I would say he he is becoming so overbearing with like... I mean, we, we saw this the, ourselves, the right? The power he thinks he has in the game of Among Us where the entire lobby becomes a... A game where it's no longer ten streamers coming together. As fan, you don't understand. If I don't have a rank in Among Us, I have nothing. Oh, my bad. Sorry, Silvera. <laughs> it's no longer ten streamers coming together and having fun entertaining people. It turns into him controlling um, a game and leaving no room for anything. And if he gets it right, he I was afraid the fall of people. God. And if people get him out as imposter, he calls them dog shit, trash players who got lucky. I mean, we, there, we, no we said the same thing like two weeks ago. He task bars people all the time, but when I task barred him back, he called it like, oh, you have shit internet. Like, you got lucky. That's not the point of playing <clears> this <throat> game. Like, what's the point of streaming this game or playing with friends or like people that you enjoy playing with? I, I, I mean, we, we said the same thing a couple of weeks ago, or we saw the same thing a couple of weeks ago. But here, I will say this at this point, you should know. At this point, you should know play accordingly or don't play accordingly. What I mean by that, is if you know somebody is toxic and somebody ruins the lobby and, and it's not a good time for you, don't play with them. Now, sometimes here's the problem. You don't have a choice because it's their turn, they're waiting in line and they come in and they join the game. Just being objective here, you can try and avoid playing with them. But the problem is a lot of these people, they wanna go and play with the biggest streamer because they wanna get, they, they wanna get the exposure. It's fine, right? What do you really want?
do you want to go with play with the biggest streamer? They're going to have you in their game and you, you're playing in a game with maybe like 50, 60, 70, maybe even 100K people watching. But then every game he says, worst imposter, worst crewmate, worst team. Like, come on, it's not fun. We played with the offline crew and like it was not, it was not all offline, but it was like that that last Among Us that we played was amazing. What a good stream, dude! It's a fun game. It is it just play the game for fun. It is so weird. I'm I'm a very competitive person, but I also know that that competition has a time and place. People don't know how to just say I'm out and get over it instead of just creating this drama. And that's that's my point too. And that's what I was saying earlier. Yeah, gotta farm the drama. I will say this too. Like like there there's also like some degree of trying to like farm drama and stuff like that. All right. That's why like for me like and you guys know anytime I talk about something like I, I'm very like objective and I just kind of like I, I'm like look this is how I feel about this. This is why and I see this side and this side. And I try and say both sides. Whatever. I know that doesn't really farm drama. Right. That's not that that's but that's not the type of person I am. Getting a good round for a YouTube video is kind of weird too. Um. Yes, it is. And that's coming from someone like me who, like, if I have a good round of Among Us, I'll, I'll, I'll want to put it on YouTube, right? That is part of the issue with YouTube and the algorithm and just how YouTube is in general. I think I hurt my channel. I think I hurt my YouTube channel a lot by uh, doing these, these, as much as I hate to say it, doing these Knights of the Old Republic videos knocked me out of the algorithm. That's why I had such a big drop off in views on my videos. I, this one is getting views retroactively. Naturally, I don't know why, for me, I don't typically get a lot of engagement on my YouTube videos. Now with the Among Us videos, I've actually gotten more engagement. Like Dave 11K views. MTL just resubbed for five I, months. I, I have like Jesus 800 fanned. likes on 11K views video, right? Now let's go to a WoW video that's, uh, let's look at this one. This is 98K hey, I views. I will duel you. Like this has almost 10 times as more views with only 500 more likes. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I clickbaited this so hard. I did a Tifa cosplay for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Put a picture of Ginny on there. <laughs> but this was a good video. Why? Because title, the title, the thumbnail, and then it like, people see Ginny at the beginning of the video, and then I come in, and now it's like interesting. You know what I mean? You anti-clickbait. Well, yeah, kind of. It gets weird, right? So yeah, like I said, I agree, but that's that's also like, that's that's like the, how you play YouTube. Uh, I don't think people need to stop playing Among Us. I think people need to stop trying to do ranked Among Us. I told, I said this weeks ago. Did I not? You you guys who watch my stream pretty regularly, you know that I've, I've been talking about this. As soon as they make the rank system and they start trying to meta game and they try and do this and they try that it's it's going to ruin the game among us with a set group of people like have you seen this thing where people do uh they post a graphic of the of the among us crew that they're playing with have you seen on twitter people will post like a, a freaking infographic of among us with the crew and it's like i i don't know I, I, Pew like, I mean, they did this with the PewDiePie train. I, they did that with, with that. That one's a little bit different because it was like a G Fuel partner thing. It's a little bit different, but more and more people are doing that. And my initial reaction to this was like, this is so, <laughs> this is so weird. At the same time, I look at myself and I'm like, I really don't want to play Among Us unless like I have a crew of people that I know who I'm playing with at this point, or at least like th that I know is going to be a fun group because I don't wanna have someone come in and be AIDS and just, just ruin the whole thing. Yeah, like, I mean, I'll look at my chat and stuff while I'm playing, but also like, I know my chat and I know that it's like a unique situation where like people don't, maybe maybe it's even not a unique situation. No, that's not true. Cause we played with Myth. We played with Myth and he went AFK and he comes back and sits down like, I don't know, 10 seconds into the game and his whole chat, this and this are the imposter, this and this are the imposter. His whole chat spurgs out and is saying who the imposter is. I could not imagine, but also, if anything, my chat is Pepegaphone, it's s -fan. That's like, that's like all you guys say. <laughs> so like, I, I never have to worry about that. You know what I mean? I, I'm not nearly good enough at Among Us. I'm not nearly good enough at Among Us to have been cheating, right? I will say this. Because Train made a really good point on the podcast. Sometimes it's like, okay, like you need to have logic and you need to explain how everything happens. That I, I feel very strongly about this. You need to logically explain it's this person because this, this, and this, and I feel this way because of this. Because that feeling, it's not I have a hunch or I have a gut feeling. You always can can come up with, you can find where that gut feeling comes from and why. But Train made a very good point in saying that here's another problem is sometimes chat tells you who it is and then instead of it's okay, they're saying it's this, now I gotta go find a reason to blame this person. And then you're looking for evidence. 
You know what I mean? It's super weird. You're an Among Us main streamer, okay? And it happens like this for any game. You're gonna have ups and downs. But if somebody like, I'm not saying everybody who's an Among Us main streamer, your stream is gonna die, right? But what I am saying, you can be, you can play a lot of Among Us on stream and do just fine and grow your channel and all that stuff. You don't have to win every game. You can be entertaining and you can put on a good stream and you can have a good enjoyable experience for the people watching without trying to win every single game. And I mean, you, you wanna you want to try and win because that's what makes it fun, but without going and trying to win at all costs. Because I don't think a lot of, there's gonna be some people that inevitably do watch streams for gameplay and you wanna see somebody who does really well so you can try and learn from them. That's inevitable. However, the viewership that your channel will gain and the, the way that you grow your stream is always best growing it outside of strictly gameplay. At a certain point, people are gonna, they're, they're not, they're gonna get tired of gameplay. They won't get tired of, I mean, they might, but it's less likely that they get tired of, of a community. It's less likely that they get tired of uh, entertainment. Like if you're an entertaining person, if you're a natural entertainer, then great. You're always gonna, you're always gonna be fine. That last lobby we played with was amazing. I, I, I messaged Pokemon and told her like, hey, if we should play again with that group. Like that was so fun. Like me, Miz, Austin, like Austin. <laughs> oh, dude, Austin, Austin's so funny. I love, I love Austin to death, dude. I, I, I love Austin so much. I'm so happy he had a million followers. Not, not just like as like he's funny and stuff like that. And he's cool, but like I, just as a friend, dude. Okay, let's let's keep watching. Any drama? Wait, 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 wait. I need you need to let him explain. You need to let him explain. No, I don't love him like that. Okay, I wish I did, but I don't. So I wouldn't be good enough for him anyway. Let's be honest. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I need you need to let him explain. You need to let him explain. I'm skipping on seven. Explain, nice. Explain, explain. Hassan, what's up? Oh, skip force and all that. You think it's jelly? You want to do in that situation, you want to go to admin, look for blips that are not moving, and then run to them. Uh, guys, you listen. I listen. Are. For the record, I, I need better. I need better. If you want me to vote for you, listen. This is like a fucking. Listen, you guys need to convince me. Mazrafine, why are you voting? Listen, XQC, you're your convincing skills are fucking awful. I'm asking you, and you still can't convince me. Just please listen. Stop talking. Dude, that's exactly how I feel. That that that's like exactly how I feel when Use I'm people are just like. your fucking ears, bro. It's so fucking painful. Dude, I've fucking actually never seen some spaghetti, of this. Jabber mouth dude, and that's and then he wonders why nobody votes for his fucking guy. Like, yeah, you're 500 fucking IQ. Now convince me like a fucking salesman, you dip, and I'm sitting here being a. Oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding. Are you? What the hell is a jabber mouth spaghetti? <laughs> Dude, this is actually a gold clip, dude. Fucking, oh, it's this so, is so funny, fucking dude. Fucking jabbermouth fucking guy. <laughs> like, yeah, you're 500 ice. fucking IQ. Now convince me like a fucking salesman, you dip, and I'm sitting here being a... Oh, dude, I love Summit. This is so funny, dude. Jabbermouth Maggetti, dude. 